And today, some New York State lawmakers are pushing for legislation that would require schools to notify parents when their child is being bullied. WENY New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein spoke with lawmakers and family impacted by school bullying. She joins us live tonight from Albany. Elise. Renata, I spoke to a family today that says if this bill could help even one child, it could make a big difference. From elementary school to middle school, Jacob Terrace was bullied. At 13 years old, he took his own life. Dear mom and dad, I'm sorry, but I am, I am not, I cannot live anymore. I just can't deal with all the bullying. Christine says her son was a good kid who loved soccer and Boy Scouts. For two years, Jacob's parents have traveled to the Capitol in Albany to advocate for legislation that would require schools to notify parents when their child is being bullied. I think parents need to know, and I know parents aren't knowing. Some lawmakers agree. <laughs> and I, can, I can tell you that they believe, and I believe, if they were notified, you very well would be alive today. Through this bill, lawmakers intend to set a reporting standard for bullying in schools. The Dignity for All Students Act, passed in 2012, requires schools to report incidents of bullying to the State Department of Education. But it does not require schools to call the parents. Some schools choose to notify parents, while others choose not to. The bill has passed in previous years in the Senate, but has not passed in the Assembly. This year, it died once again in an Assembly committee. Some assembly members say while they are frustrated the bill did not pass this session, they are committed to continuing the fight. Reporting live from Albany, I'm Elise Klein for WBNY News. Renata, back to you.